Hello, I'm Christian Brewer from Barton Marine, and today I'm going to show you how we service a Barton winch. So, tools for the job today, you'll need a screwdriver, flat head, um, you may need a Stanley knife for the pull springs, and we've got some SIF or green cleaner, and some wire, wire ball there, and also some silicon grease for the pulls. So first job, if you're on the boat, you might want to put a cloth around the base of your winch, um, just in case you lose any pieces, I, I do. Um, first job, take off the circlip on the top, so it's a spiral clip, and then you can just ease the drum off the base. There's a couple of inserts in the top, just take those off, and in, in here you will see the pulls with their springs. Now these may or may not need cleaning and you can use the cream cleaner with the wire wool for that and you can just um, pop the pull out and it's a little bit fiddly there's a spring in there and then you can um, clean up the pulls, wash them off with water, let them dry off because then the silicon grease will work better. So, so just uh, pop that back in I said this is the bit that's fiddly. Takes some time, some patience, that pops back in. I put that to one side, and then you've got the centre shaft, and then we remove the screw in the middle. You'll hear it click. And then just hold the base, give it a wiggle, and it pops out. So on the centre shaft you'll see two more pulls and springs. Again, you can pop those out if they need cleaning and wash them off, let them dry. And when you put pulls and springs back in, we just recommend a little dab of silicon grease. Not too much, because grease attracts salt crystals and that acts as a grinding paste, so you don't want that. Um, you'll see all the uh, nylon parts here. There's a roller cage assembly. If you need any spare parts, we do a service pack for all our winches. So you'll get all the new pull springs, roller cage assembly, and you can put those pieces into your winch. And then putting it back together, squeeze the pulls in, drop the centre column in. Now I'm assuming that you will have flushed through the whole assembly with fresh water just to dislodge any salt crystals. Let it all dry before you put it back together again. That's the centre back in. Put the screw in. Turn the top. Check that it's all running freely before you put the top back on. And you can pop the drum back on. You need to hold the pulls open with your fingers. And then we can put the top plates back on. And the spiral circlet. There we go, servicing a button winch.